Certo, vamos lá. Estamos aqui com a Vriska e com o Equius. Os dois estão digitando um pro outro. Equius! What? Hey, I'm about to meddle with so many losers right now. How many? So many. All the losers. All of them. Good. Use our cunning and venom to make them envy our nobility. Oh man, was that sarcasm? That sounded like sarcasm. No. Humorous insincerity is for pedantic wigglers. I know. I know you never make jokes. I was the one being sarcastic, you stooge. I was being sarcastic about you being sarcastic. Duh. That's because you're a little worse than me. The fuck I am! Anyway, hey. Did you finish Aradia's present yet? I'm about to fuss with her and I want to know if I can keep my promise or if you're gonna make a liar out of me. It's finished. I'll deliver it shortly. Great. Thanks, buddy. I'll be waiting here for you. I'm happy to help, but I don't understand why you're intent on gratifying that worthless peasant. Because I promised I would, and it's none of your damn business, man. Quit your prying, always fidgeting and poking and prying. Fine. Then let's proceed with the plan in a curt and professional manner. Agreed! So, just reveal. We will let Aradia perpetrate her cute little ploy on Solux and usurp his power. Yes. Isn't it funny when these chumps try to get all tactical and underhanded? It's really adorable. I guess it is pretty quaint. Anyway, she, make her, she makes her little power grab and that's when we both step in and usurp her as co-leaders, right? That's the plan. Okay, good. Then the best team will be led by the two highest bloods, the way it should be. Or at least, the highest bloods who aren't shitty clown worshippers or underwater freaks. Sound good? Yes, we're in absolute agreement. Yes, 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 stop. Great! What a great team we are! Hey! You wouldn't be planning anything sneaky, would you? No, don't be absurd. Are you? What? How could you suggest such a thing? Man, so insulting. Okay. Perfect. We have the perfect plan and no one is plotting any sort of double crossings or backstabbery or anything like that. There are no... Uh... Uh, que que isso quer dizer? No axings up my sleeve. Also, I don't have sleeves. I am as transparent as can be. And my word is my bond. I know. Don't worry, dude. I trust you completely. You know, I can feel you trying to read my mind. Bullshit! Probably just another one of your many daily rage aneurysms. Why don't you cool your jets and have a glass of gross muscle beast milk? Get out of my head, it's making me angry. Try to remember who built your arm for you. Oh god, don't you dare! <laughs> Como foi ele que fez o braço pra ela, ele pode controlar o braço de longe. Robo slap! Slap the bitch. Go check on Aradia's present. Okay. You'll delve deeper into your hive where you store many of your robotic projects. The lair doubles as the caged arena where you battle them. Under the tarp is the completed gift. You, of course, have no intention of delivering this to your neighbor as promised. You naturally will double cross your accomplice. Just as you assume she has plans to double cross you. You assume she is assuming the same of you. Business as usual for blue bloods. You will deliver it to Aradia yourself to gain her favor, and then double cross her and take your rightful position as team leader. 
How ironic that someone of your blood purity must work to win the favor of the lowest sort of peasant. Humiliating. Strangely titillating even. But in the end, class order will be restored. Remove tarp. E um robô da Aradia. You reveal her sparkling new chassis. You have paid a great deal of attention to quality and detail on this model. She is perfect. You don't know what to make of the feelings she stirs. For one like you to entertain thoughts of attraction for such genetic filth would be utter depravity. Exquisite, delectable depravity. Oh no. É um robô, cara. Get a hold. Why, Aradia? It appears to the red glass of your eye has caught the pink and green glint of the moons in their perjees. The sweet poetry almost makes a man forget how the grime that once filled your veins made his stomach turn. Stomach turn. It is a good omen for illicit lovers. Could you imagine the scandal if anyone find out? No one was ever known. Fala, rica gato seto kun, como vai você? Cada vez mais próximo da sua folga necessária. But worry not, your heart will plump no more of that despicable rat sludge. You have been given a new heart. You can be taught the ways of the class you were always meant for. No one is beyond redemption. Be grateful, dear Aradia. For the first time in your meaningless life, you have met a man with true compassion. Oh no. Boa noite, como vai tu, Tatu? Também sou fã dele, hein? O homem do momento chegou. And just what do you think you're looking at? Keep your cold mechanical judgment to yourself. As if your own record is so spotless. Don't forget who made you. Oh, what's that? My, that is a smart mouth you have. That was the last straw. An example must be made of this insubordination. Example. Quebrou o robô em pedaços. Bra, 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 bra. Meu Deus do céu. A casa aqui da direita é a casa do Equius e a casa da esquerda é a casa da Vriska. Eu estou bem rica, e você? E aí o robô explodiu. É isto. Apenas isto. E daí as peças dele caíram em cima do negócio, ativou a máquina do julgamento final da Vriska. The catenative Doomsday Dice Cascader is unfortunately, unfortunately activated. Extra content. For William, starting from this page is the Problem Sloth Unlockable List. Strike back at the Midnight Crew using awesome dice-based technology. Ah, é baseado numa coisa do Midnight Crew. Ok, eu não vou ler o restante porque, né, eu não... Referências, referenciantes, referenciadas, é isso que tá acontecendo. Coisas aconteceram, feijoada. Só o chassi do grilo? É. Então senta aí e se divirta que agora vai ser só os ingres na veia. The lousy thing breaks. You seriously cannot believe how unbelievable shitty this doomsday device is. Snap. E é isso. Vai cair em cima da... Oh, os escombros vão cair em cima da aranha. Caralho! Quebrou a casa do Equius. Caralho, velho. Isso aqui tá parecendo Worms. Idiota! Vai, vai ficar bem, sim. Ih, matou até o Althor. Meu Deus, tadinho. Agora sim, matou dois luços com uma cajadada só. Moments earlier. Agora a gente tá indo lá na Therese. Metal with Therese. Ih, já tem uns capetinhos aqui pra ela bater. Ah, o cajado dela vira uma arma. <risos> It looks like tonight we'll have to break our truce. Or at least suspend it. Hope you don't mind. 
How do you figure that? Because tonight we will play a game together for the first time in I don't even know forever. The truth wasn't about not playing games together, dummy. It was about not stabbing each other in the back anymore and stopping the endless cycle of revenge and above all, not using your powers to hurt people who don't deserve it. Man, you like to give me such a hard time about all that. I can't catch a break. Can't you see? I am trying to pull all that behind me and make amends with everybody. No, of course you can't see that. What am, what am I saying? It's hard to believe you with all the lying you've done. Your blue blueberry bubblegum words still smell pretty good, but your deceit stinks. Aww. I'll prove it to you. I'm giving Aradia a present that will make her feel all better, finally. Then I'll be in the clear. Whew, totally redeemed. You'll see. I mean, smell. I don't know why you're bothering trying to help her. She won't care. Whatever it was you did to her, I think you broke her brain. It's so terrible. Man, why can't you cut me some slack for once? It's not like it's not like I even did anything that bad to you. I lost seven eyes, but you only lost two. I would say you came out ahead in the bargain. I know, and actually, I never really got a chance to thank you. Ugh, your sarcasm really stings when here. I am just trying to be nice. Okay, I guess I deserve it. I'm serious though, but I don't expect you to get that. Ah, fine, be that way. But you shouldn't sit there and pretend we're so different. Remember Team Scorch? How convenient all that must be to have forgotten. You are so nasty. Oh man, if you crossed the Resi Pyrope, you were fucked. Yeah, if you were a bad guy. We were supposed to be like a vigilante dude dispensing justice. And you could take the bad guys home and feed them to your stupid spider. But instead you just feed her, fed her everybody. And lied, and lied, and lied. Yeah, those were the days. I mean, days full of mistakes and regret. But it was still a lot of fun. Watching you dismantle huge teams of flarpers with nothing but politics and head games, without even using any special powers. Wow. Meh. Come on. What do I have to do here? I don't know. Well, if you want to know what I think, you should start changing your tune. Because even though you got all these high falutin morals and fancy reservations, you know as well as me that a killer is a killer is a killer. There ain't no changing your ways for good, and one day you're going to flail that silly little game of yours, cane of yours, and not find nothing to bump into, and fall face first into the shit again. And you're going to do something terrible to somebody, and wish you could take it back, but you can't. And then, and then, you'll work hard to win back their trust, and you'll try and try and try, and you'll see how hard it is. You'll see! I doubt it. You'll see. I am whispering that, and it is echoing and ominous. You see. You see. Eee. Oh, will you can it, Sir Cat? <laughs> Ugh. Whoa, what was that? What was what? There was a loud noise outside my hive. It sounded like an explosion. Wow, really? And then another one. And now something that sounds like an avalanche. Well, if I had to guess, I would say it was probably two explosions and then an avalanche. That dumbass is probably punching robots again. I will go outside and look. Okay. Try not to get burned or crushed or to death or anything that would be awful. You got it. <laughs> and much earlier than that. Nossa, quando ela ainda enxergava. É tão estranho ver a Therese 
enxergando. Deixa eu ver o que vocês estavam falando aqui, peraí. Sim, essa história é super duper longa, Taruga. Eu tava calculando e ainda vai levar muitas lives pra eu terminar essa história. Ela é muito longa. Obrigada por comparecer, Ono. Até a próxima. Obrigada pelo seu lurk. Oh, ele ama a gente. Fala, Matheus. Como vai você? Obrigada pela água, Rica. Vou beber aqui. Que isso? Ah, acho que é meu pai. Uh, é much earlier than that. Flashback. How is he? Okay, he can't walk though. Probably never will. Hmm. Maybe he could be fixed with robo prosthetics. If you didn't mind getting help from, uh, no. Neither he or I should have ever had anything to do with those hateful snobs. It was a big mistake. No offense. No offense. It's okay. I'm a little too too for their tastes anyway. I don't see why they'd lift a finger to help him. They hate us both so much. I'm so mad. I hope you're not thinking of doing anything in retaliation. It will be it will end badly. You should let me handle it. I'm not scared of her. She can't control me. She tried, it doesn't work. I know. But trust me, if you piss her off, she'll find a way to get you. This is really tricky, just let me deal with it. But it was my fault. I was distracted when I could have helped him. I was too. We were both distracted by the same thing. Yeah. Who was he anyway? Pretty, pretty sure it was Riska's friend. What was he doing there, watching us? Who knows? He's not really her friend though. You should see how he talks about her behind her back. She has no idea how bad he's playing her. But then I don't think he knows how bad she's playing him either. See, it's complicated. You really need to stay out of it and let me deal with this. I guess so. I feel powerless sitting here doing nothing though. It's like she wins even if you get her back. Don't think of it that way. I know how to stop her, trust me. I guess our gaming days are over then. Us four at least. Yep, I'm pretty much done with her. Então, se vocês se lembram bem, a Vriska... Eles estavam todos jogando um RPG maluco lá que dividou morte, né, dos Trolls. A Vriska foi longe demais e ela fez o Tavros perder o movimento das pernas. E é isso. Por enquanto é isso no passado. A Aradia ficou puta, né, porque o Tavros se deu mal. E daí ela tá querendo se vingar da Vriska. E a Therese, que costumava fazer duo com a Vriska nas coisas, ela enxergou que a Vriska tá sendo muito malvada, tá, passou dos limites. É, já é mais do que bullying o que ela fez. E daí ela tá, tá tentando deixar as coisas o mínimo possível violentas. É, os trolls eles têm um conceito bem diferente dos humanos de diversão. Ih, a internet tá ruim aí, Matheus? Será que tá chovendo aí? O que é longe demais é machucar as pessoas pra valer. Ah lá, a Aradia ainda tava viva nesse passado. Vamos ver o que ela está fazendo. O Luzos dela, que bonitinho, dormindo. It's probably best you listen to the advice of your friend. And yet, the voices are lucid as ever. As lucid as ever. They urge you to make her pay. Make her pay. It's a shame it had to come to this. You don't like summoning the spirits of the dead and settle, to settle scores. A Aradia tem uma habilidade de falar com os mortos, pelo visto. But if she had to face her victims again, maybe she'd finally learn to feel remorse. Gente, a vingança nunca é plena. A Aradia vai morrer por conta disso. Aí ela fez os mortos se voltarem contra a Vriska. A, nisso a Vriska já tinha perdido... Não, ela ainda tá com os olhos. Answer while white text guy. 
Ah, sim, ela fala com esse cara, né? Esqueci disso. Well? Well, what? I am surrounded by ghosts and I... And kind of freaking out about it. I know. I'm asking what you intend to do about it. I don't know. I guess I'll just curl into a little ball and cry and hope they go away. Is that what why you what you want to hear, you sick fuck? Aren't you going to kill her? Who? Your friend. The one who summoned the spirits. Will that make them go away? Does it matter? She brought them here to torment you. This obviously warrants revenge. You know you're going to anyway. You won't be able to help yourself. I don't have to do shit. Maybe I don't mind ghosts. Maybe they'll be great company once I get used to them. No, they are terrifying you. There's only one thing to do. Okay, so why don't you kill her? Be my guest. Wow, thanks for offering. What a Paul. That's not how I work. Oh, really? Well, you seemed pretty excited about killing Tavros, too. And you even helped. So, I guess that is how you work after all. Not really. All I did was stand somewhere for a few minutes. I just gave you an opportunity to do something you wanted to do anyway. You hated him, remember? I know I did. I still do, I guess. I don't know. But I was never gonna kill these people. They were like, off limits, I guess? These games were just supposed to be fun and serve no other purpose. They were serving a very important purpose. Yeah, okay, you getting off on talking a girl into killing her buddy sure is important, loser. Again, I didn't talk you into anything, nor am I doing so now. You were and are going to do this regardless. I only ever place myself into positions of tangential involvement with events that will bring about my employer's entry into his, into this universe. I oversee the events as they take place and ever so slightly nudge them to motion when necessary. I'm beginning to think you really believe that. So delusional. You're just a pathetic, lonely gamer who buys into his own character profile Shit. Ah, BS, na verdade. É, enfim. The omniscient have no need for beliefs and no room for delusion. <laughs> You're the dumbest omniscient person I've ever met. Sure, you know a lot, but I know for a fact there's stuff you don't know. That's true. But the gap in my knowledge exists by design. They are the pillars of shadow on which my comprehensive vision is built. Necessary pockets of void meant to effectuate outcomes I've foreseen and which will require my influence. Each dark pocket in time will be filled. But I wonder why I waste this nuance on you. Because you need to add more blatant lies to patch up all the holes in your sad cover story. I don't lie. Deception is only necessary for those like you to achieve their objectives. I play with my cards face up. Isn't it funny how during our various matches I can tell you what my moves will be in advance and still win? <laughs> yeah, but I'm getting closer to beating you, you'll see. Look at that. The short amount of time I have reserved for arguing with a child has expired. I will go. But maybe you're right. Maybe you are a person with free will and you won't kill your friend. What do I know? Enjoy your haunting. Make her pay. Essa música não casa com Make Her Pay. <laughs> la, 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 la. Of course he's right. Not much point in living with all these moaning spooks just to spite some guys you don't give a shit about. But how to go about it? Can't control her. It can be difficult to manipulate the mind of the uh, psychic... Psychically, psychically gifted. Let's see, who else is there? Therese? Forget about it. What about that guy? Nah, her? Nope, not him either. How about this guy? Unfortunately, you can only control him about half the time. Then again, that should be all the time you need. Ou seja... 
Cerveja. Ah, Matheus, as coisas vão piorar ainda. Fica de olho que as coisas ainda vão piorar muito. As pernas foram só o início. Aradio. What? Nice trick. With the ghost and all. Man, you got me pretty good. I'd rather not talk to you. Fair enough. Just wanted to say I'm sorry, that's all. I'm not the one you should apologize to. Yeah, I know. I'll make it up to him someday. Don't worry. Anyway, hey, guess what? I've got a message for you from your boyfriend. He's outside your hive right now. Not falling for it. Take a look. I don't see anything out there. Well, okay. I'm just a messenger. If you want to risk missing him, then suit yourself. Loser. Never that later. Loser que ela imagina, né? Mas later foi o que ela disse. That's what she said. It must be a trick. He surely would have told you if he was making the trip all the way out here from his hive stem. É, só que não é o Solux, Solux que tá vindo, né? É o Solux controlado pela Vriska. Solux? Oh, fuck. Fudeu, sai daí, Aradia, sai daí agora. Arrivederci, medido. <risos> Be the white text guy. Ah, apareceu. Apareceu o Margarido. You try to be the white text guy, but fail to be the white text guy. No one can be the white text guy except for the white text guy. The white text guy is known as Doc Scratch. He is an officer of an indestructible demon known as Lord English. Guarding esse nome vai ser importante. His job is to pave the way for the arrival of his master, who will be summoned upon the termination of the universe. He has worked at this task for many centuries and will continue to do so until the great undoing. Scratch is Alternia's first guardian. Every planet distant to for intelligent life has such an entity meant to protect it and facilitate the planet's ultimate purpose. A first guardian is typically almost as old as the planet itself and each has a unique circuitous origin though uh, through the knots of paradox space. They can be born into a great diversity of forms, though they all share common, especially potent genetic sequence. The code grants them near omnipotence, and when merged with a host of great intelligence, near omniscience as well. What will he do? It's up to him. All we can do is stand here and watch. Parece o bonequinho da Bic. Meu Deus, agora toda vez que eu ver o bonequinho da Bic eu vou lembrar do Doc Scratch. Isso é perigoso. A Bic sabe demais. What's he up to now? Hard to say, since we're not telling him what to do. Guardians can never be told what to do. Neither the omnipotent kind, nor the ordinary kind who raise kids in the house, in houses. It's a universal law of reality. Looks like he's pondering over his next move in a game he's playing with some wicked troll girl down on the planet. Usually these matches are no contest, but she has been getting closer to beating him lately, and he has no idea how this is possible. Uncertainty, though rare, is quite a troubling sensation for the omniscient. Oh. Ele não tem nem computador, ele tem uma máquina digitadora, uma datilo... uma... Ai, como é que chama isso? Máquina de datilografia. What's this? It appears someone is contacting him. More bothersome uncertainty. How is it this youngster is able to relay an unsolicited message? He doesn't even have an account name. A Teresa tá falando com ele. Hey, white text guy, I have a tip for you. How many were you able to contact me? How were you able to contact me? Never mind, I figured it out instantly. Really? Yes, 
though my limitless intellect. Through my limitless intellect. Occasionally, I discover there are things I have not always known. It, give me, it gives me the opportunity to make deductions, which are practically, practically always flawless. It's gratifying. Uh oh, okay. That's neat, I guess. You asked your clever friend with the colorful spectacles to trace the source of my messages. He then established a relay for messages to reach the source through some sort of computational proxy. Computational proxy. I gather he has recovered from his implementation as a weapon in the sabotage of your mutual friend, whom you both believe to be dead. Oh my god, white text guy, shut up! I'm trying to give you a message here. I have a name. It's not white text guy. Oh, what is it? I'm not going to tell you my name, but if you wish, you may refer me as Mr. Vanilla Milkshake. You're so weird. Why would I do that? It is perfectly in keeping with a habit which you will develop in the future. I doubt it. Why? Sounds kind of silly and frivolous. Blar, why do you keep me uh, derailing? Why do you keep derailing me? You're right, Solux is working with me and we have important business for you to consider. Wait, you said we believe our friend is dead, is she not? Yes, I said you believe she's dead. And soon, you will believe she's not. Both statements are true. And yet, each exhibits a trace of falsehood. Wow, why did I bother asking? No wonder she snapped, she's got to deal with your stupid riddles all the time. Anyway, can you just help me get revenge so we can call it a night? Why would I involve myself in your paltry feud beyond the extent I already have? I believe the need to exert such influence has come to an end. Because you'll want to. When you hear what I have to say, I doubt it. Haven't you wondered how she can come close to beating you in games lately? Honestly, I'm surprised you haven't deduced it yet. With your shiny white super brain. It's disturbing. But sometimes that is the nature of these hollows in my perception. It feels a bit like dark water slushing about the cavity in my head. What do you know of this? She's cheating. She always cheats if she can find a way. Lately, she's used the same advantage she uses against me when we play games. But she told me about it. She tells me lots of stuff like that, probably to rub it in my face. But she never risks telling you. What advantage is this? Hold on. I have to talk to your partner in crime for a second. I thought you were hers. <laughs> Orchestrate the demise of the wicked. Parece verdade, é verdade, não tem rosto nem nada, né? She went too far this time and she knows it. She's going to pay. Justice is long overdue. The only sad part is how easy it's going to be. It'll take no skilled manipulator to orchestrate her downfall. She's a waste of your talents. Contact partner in crime. Vai falar com a Vresca. Todo mundo tem dadinhos em casa, né? Hey Vresca, anything to say? Uh, no? About what? About killing her, after you said you wouldn't. All that? I thought you were done talking about it. We concluded I messed up and I'm completely horrible in every way. I can only feel so awful, you know? Here, I'm banging my head against the desk now. Bang, bang, bang. Are you happy? Not really. Uh, what do you want from me? I'm not sure. I guess I'm looking for some reason to change my mind. I don't know what you can say that will do it. I sorta of hope there's something though. You should lighten up a bit. Maybe even congratulate me. Wow, great job, Riska. Single-handedly taking out Team Charge like that. No more competition from those low-class clowns. Nah, that wasn't it. Okay, well, change your mind about what? What are you going to do, Pyrope? I was probably just going to kill you. <laughs> you mean from your tree? With all your amazing powers. Tell me, what sort of powers do tree girls have? Swinging from vines and stuff? 
My tree doesn't have vines. Sometimes I let other people swing from ropes, though. From ropes, though. Yeah, anyway, you'll be dead in a couple minutes. Yeah, right. Complete and total muscle beast, muscle beast shit. Muscle beast shit. If you don't believe me, why don't you consult with your little advantage? It seems to have all the answers. I don't need to do that to know you're bluffing. Yeah, but you're never gonna... Anyway, addiction is a powerful thing. See ya. Consult little advantage. She can't be serious. What could possibly lead to your lead to your demise in a matter of minutes? What could it possibly be? É a risk que você vai descobrir em poucos segundos. You consult it with your magic cue ball, an extremely rare treasure you recently plundered from an ancient crypt, and one of many rumored to be hidden across the globe. Each of the time, each at one time, belonged to the strange and powerful man fabled to live on the green moon, but have since managed to escape his vision. It is sad to make predictions with alarming precision and spe specificity. Unfortunately, it lacks a port on, on its surface that allows you to view the prediction. So, who could say for sure whether its predictions were accurate? It would require some, uh, someone with X-ray vision or, just maybe, someone with vision eightfold. You channel your powerful eyesight through your customized lenses and whisper to the faithful little oracle. Should you be worried about Therese's threat? Inform Mr. Vanilla Milkshake about his missing orb. Yes. E lascou-se, hein, Vrisca? Lascou-se. Você tem que estar preocupada, sim. E She has what? O texto tá até piscando. Lá vem merda, hein? Ok, little ball. Fine. If you're so smart, then answer this. How is it going to happen? How? É por isso que você perguntou. I will explode in your face. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. E é assim que ela perdeu oito olhos e um braço. Na verdade, sete olhos, né? In the aftermath of more recent misfortune. Aí o Luzus dele morreu e o Luzus dela morreu. Aqui já é o presente, que lá era o passado, né? One retrieves his dead custodian for the rubble below. Another finds hers struggling to survive. Ah, o dela tá vivo ainda. You guess you've got to put her down. The question is, do you have the luck to get it done? Would a sufficient roll even qualify as good luck in this case? You don't know. Roll. Row, row, row. Maybe the dead girl is onto something. Maybe the only way to beat her bad luck is not caring about the outcome. Tá rodando os dadinhos, tô me sentindo no modo novo de jogo do Genshin. Seven of the fluoride octet land, narrowing the field down from the fall eight to eight. One tumbles through the air, it will decide among the eight remaining techniques. Guillotine de la Marquise. Foi o que foi decidido. Fala, Gasbra, tudo bom? Muito obrigado por escorregar um resub aí. Na verdade, escorregou um Prime mesmo. Muito obrigado pelo seu Prime. Pegue uma cadeira, sente no chão. E vamos aqui, Larry Homestuck de montão. Como vai você? Aí ela tirou o sofrimento da luz dela com a guilhotina. Au revoir, spider mom. Slurp. Nossa, e daí terminou de colapsar a casa do Equius. Vai cair em cima da casa da, da Vrisca. Caralho. Isso que é azar. Your mercy killing triggers another avalanche. More rotten luck. 
What's her deal? Caraca, a casa do Equus foi transportada? What's your deal? What do you mean? Did you just zap Equus into the game? His hive disappeared. Are you not happy about that? Hell no! I was supposed to get your surprise present from him. Um, that he was helping for me. But only temporarily. And then we were going to jump in the game together, as co-leaders, remember? You were about to be killed by his hive. Proceeding with that plan would have, wouldn't have made sense. We certainly don't need two dead players. But, ah, you knew this was going to happen. You were planning it all. You were planning it all along. You were playing all of this. I know a schemer when I see one. Yes, it was the plan. It had to go this way. No, it had to go the way we said it would. I was going to give you the present I convinced him to make for you. Me. It wouldn't have got made it for, if not for me. And then you could have a body again and everything would be fine. Then we could go back to being friends again. We, uh, were we ever really friends? Yeah. I don't know. Hi, Rodrigo. I'm Fanny and you... I don't know, I felt like uh, we were even if you didn't think so. I guess I'm not very good at acting like a friend, or saying stuff like, hey friend, you're my friend, it doesn't really occur to me. But we were. Why would you play with me if you didn't think I was your friend? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Barf, more of this apathetic balloony. Why don't you get the ghost girl act already? I get it, you're dead and spooky, rabbit. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> Pretty odd. Sorry. Ah, oh, que bom que você tá fine. Nice que nice. That's cool. You can rib it if you want. In a weird way, it almost makes you sound normal. So what now? I guess you and Equius co-lead since he managed to usurp me, that cunning bastard. I guess I follow you into the game instead. Fine by me. I'll follow you guys. Just give me my orders, boss. No, you're not on the blue team. Oh, what the fuck? You were never going to be. I get it. I finally see now. This is your revenge. You finally did it, Magido. You got me pretty good. Well played. Carro de som passando aqui, meu Deus do céu, tá estralando esse som. Jesus amado. Caralho, batidão tocando. Vocês estão ouvindo? Que medo. It's not revenge. You were always supposed to be on the red team. You'll believe me later. When you wake up. Is that funk zone in the background? Yes, it is. What a load of shit. You've been plotting your revenge since day one. And I fell for it like a sucker. Can't say I blame you. I've never thought about revenge at all. But why not? I killed you. I don't care. Ugh, you're so infuriating. Why can't you just hate me? It would be a lot easier that way. Or at least feel bothered or annoyed or something. God! Maybe I should just rip my heart out of my chest and pound it into a bloody pulp here on my desk with my super strong robot arm. Pound, 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 pound. Look at that! More nasty blue blood all over me. Why not? Might as well open the f uh, floodgates and point my whole hive with this so env enviable cer cerulean swell. Because clearly it's up to me to feel emotions for the both of us, your miserable soulless switch. I hate you. Hate, 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 hate. I only regret killing you because it made you so boring. Sorry. I don't want to be on the red team. It's full of jerks who just think I'm a big jerk. They need you though. And it's where you need to be. Carcot will be in touch with you soon. Oh god, I can't wait for that conversation. Also, if it's any consolation, the teams are meaningless anyway. What? 
Why would that be consolation? It's more vague, spooky nonsense. Fuck you for me trying to help you. Fuck the blue team. Fuck your conniving. Fuck Equio's double dealing and the stupid muscle beast he rode in on. And fuck you for saving my life. Fuck you. Ooh. Desbloqueei aqui, desbloqueei um álbum. Alternia. Nice. And soon, in a place known as the land of caves and silence, let her know the deal. Ah, o Luzus dele foi... É... Ah, como é que chama essa palavra? Esqueci. Foi pro... Ih, esqueci a palavra. Ele foi coisado aqui. Aradia, here's the deal. Now that the game has begun, the plan will be modified slightly. We will not be co-leaders of the blue team. I alone will be the leader. Is that understood? That's fine. Good. Wait, you have no objection. Are you sure? No, I'm okay with it. Do you typically embrace such a passive attitude when your superiors give you orders? I don't usually receive orders from superiors or otherwise, but really, it's fine. Hmm, what? I think I should get a towel. I'm perspiring heavily again. Why? What's wrong? Never mind, I'm trying to stay professional about this. About what? What you're talking about? Uh, forget it. It's just pleasant to consort with one of lesser breeding who clearly understand her place. I've understood for some time that this will be my role, to function as your server player, and that you would be the team leader as the first in the chain. Perfect. Then we are on the same page. I look forward to seeing how well you serve me, server player. Um, that's not quite the meaning of the word server. What do you mean? As your server, I manipulate your environment to help you advance. I don't understand. Are you... Are you saying that you are in a position of control over me? I suppose so. Oh, what? Oh my god. Um, this is impropriety of a caliber I cannot believe. I, I cannot even... It's you are as low on the hemo spectrum as possible. To consider that someone so low could be in a position to, of authority over me is... It, it's just so disgusting. You really are quite a snob. No, it's a filthy. Huh? I need some air or some cold milk or a towel. I need a towel. Where the fuck are all my fresh towels? I mean, fiddlesticks. Please, pardon my language. It won't happen again. You look really agitated. Are you sure you're alright? Sim, ele só é racista. Ou classista, né, nesse caso. I'm fine. I'll be fine. I just need to breathe. And to break something, possibly. Break something? Yes. It helps me to relax. Oh, I think I understand. Do you? I like breaking things. I didn't used to, but now I do. It's fun. Um, hello? Are you sure you're okay? Yes. You really do look like you're sweating pretty hard. I just need a blasted towel. Where ever did that author get off to? Maybe you should break something to try to calm down. Perhaps. Do you want me to break something? Whoa, what? I could break something if you want. Do you want to break something? Kind of. I, um... Okay. <laughs> Equius, I'm about to throw an ablution trap through your wall. Heads up. Yes. Yes, that was wonderful. It was pretty cool. But could you please refrain from dipping into the vernacular of commoners? In fact, this is an order from your leader. Call things by their proper names. What? You want me to call it a bathtub? Uh, that sounds ridiculous. Nevertheless, do it. Uh, fine. Now, could you please um, do that again? What? You want me to throw the tap through your wall again? I mean, the tub. Yes. Is that an order? Yes. Wait, I don't know. What don't you know? Maybe I don't want to order you to... 
maybe I want you to do whatever thing that you want to do. <sighs> I really have no idea what you're talking about. You could co cause quite a bother for me with the power you will you yield. I can do nothing to stop you, peasant girl. It's so magnificently depraved. You are so weird. And this is coming from a ghost, Ribbit. What was that? Are you role-playing now? Stop. It's unbecoming. Sorry. You're better than that. And by better, I mean worse. Much. Much worse. Downright coarse and degenerate. Just reprehensibly sordid. Um, actually, yes. You may role-play and proceed to deepen this already irretrievable debauchery. In fact, I commend it. I commend you to have free will and do as you please, and continue being bothersome and unpredictably destructive. I mean, if you want. I'm not really role-playing, I'm part frog. But okay, I guess I can break some more stuff, ribbit. Yes, ribbit again. I can't really control the ribbits. Esses dois juntos, meu Deus do céu. I'll make haste through this mysterious realm and find your gate. It will pose no challenge for me at all. Yeah, I know. I will then give you your new body, and you may take your rightful place as my subordinate. Sure. Actually, now I'm beginning to wonder, what? Whether I want you to be my subordinate. Hmm. I hope this doesn't sound too strange. Everything you say sounds strange. Maybe I would like you to be the co-leader again. Okay. In fact... Obrigada, Kevin. Como vai você? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm entertaining this thought. It feels just vile. Try not to roll your eyes at me. I don't have purples. <laughs> would you mind terribly being the leader? Fine. But... Don't tell anyone. You will be the leader of me, and I will lead all else. Meu Deus, é curioso. You would, in effect, be the secret leader. To the side, Kevin. Yeah, sure. That's pretty much how it is, anyway. Yes, that's the spirit. You take the authority well for one of your blood. I don't have blood. Not yet. But soon you, your heart will beat anew, and through it, flesh blood and fresh passion. Yeah? Wow. Um, can you just bring me the robot already? On my way. Ribbit. Proceed to the second gate. Strong jump. Ele deu um pulão. Ele só deu um pulão. Não precisou construir nada. Ele só pulou. Cara, o tamanho do bicho. Que medo. Ah, ele passou no primeiro portal. Belezinha. Vai bater nos bichinhos. Nos bichão, né? Caralho, com um soco. One punch! Just for the mem. Aí ele conseguiu o segundo portal. Tá indo pra Aradia. This poses no challenge for you at all. Enter. Strong fall. Deliver present. Levou o robozito pra ela. It looks nice. Yes. It is perfect in every way. Rabbit, do you have a clean towel anywhere? Enter Soulbot. Ela entrou dentro do robô. E daí agora ela controla o robô. O robô é assombrado. É isso que aconteceu. I think it suits you. Much more so than the form of a levitating ghostly amphibian. How does it feel? It feels different. Okay. But I mean, do you feel anything else? Um, any sort of stirring sensations? Stirring? Yes, such as sensations which may be stirred by flowing blood and a beating heart. I'm not sure. Can you detect anything within you might describe as smoldering passion? I mean, just out of curiosity. Wait, what is that? What's what? This feeling. Oh god. Oh my god, what did you do? Oh no. Did you program this robot to have feelings for you? Romantic feelings? <sighs> Answer me, blue blood scum. I... Yes. 
Um, it's a chip in your heart. That is that not okay? Get it out. Uh, I guess I can uninstall it if you just would just get it out. Sorry, I'll uh, get it out. 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 E daí ela mesma tirou. Ah, eu já sou do Solux, para com isso. Pegou o próprio coração e já era. E amacetou o coração. Jesus amado. A minha própria criação está se desfazendo na minha frente ou não? Essa é a cara de puro caos, puro terror. E ainda bateu no criador, meu Deus. É assim mesmo. E ele ainda gosta disso, hein? Gritou com ele. Jesus amado. E a Nepeta tá vendo tudo isso, tipo, hã? Hã? Obrigada por tancar os ads, Rodrigo. Update wall. Ah, sim, ela tem uma parede só pra fazer chip com os outros trolls. É. You consult your shipping wall. Clearly some changes are in order. You must admit, you didn't see this one coming, even with your remarkable matchmaking acumen. You should probably recolor all the Aradia panels, so she looks like a robot too. It is a major commitment keeping up with all your ships, but it is worth it. Vocês também têm uma parede que vocês ficam desenhando seus chips nela? E ficam é, atualizando ele? <laughs> Recruit Vriska. A Vriska com sangue, sem lavar cabelo nem nada. Prioridades, né? Esse pessoal tem umas prioridades meio esquisitas. Em vez de se limpar, eles vão simplesmente voltar a papear no wall. Enfim. Ok, this is going to sound preposterous, given our last conversation. And I guess pra practically every conversation preceding it. And I'm probably going to have to do something completely disgusting, like apologize. And even though I'll hate myself for it, I will totally mean it, I promise. Like, really, really mean it. You're going to ask me to join your team, aren't you? Yeah, how did you know? I don't seem to have much choice now. Aradia kicked me out of the good team. <laughs> wow, that is great. Wait, sorry, no, wait, I don't have to apologize. That's right, you have no choice now. I apologize to myself for offering you a shitty meaningless apology. Apology accepted, Carcut. Let's bury the Thrasher with a totally platonic bro bulge bump. Bump, <laughs> you dork. Do you really think your usual pedantic quips are going to bug me now? I'm not trying to bug you. I'm trying to get you to join my damn team. Now step in line, circuit. I was just betrayed and abandoned by my two accomplices and best pals. And on top of that, I am soaked in the blood of my Lucis, which I just had to decapitate myself. So, listening to a crabby asshole be all tickled with his own mediocre retorts, Isn't going to spoil my evening. Okay, well, sorry to hear about that. But I mean, you can just dump her carcass in the kernel and bring her back stronger than ever. Wow, uh, good to know, I guess. Ah, sim, o nome do negócio que eu queria é Kernel Sprite. Now, why don't you hop in the trap, wash that nasty blue shit off, and join our fucking session already? Bem-vindo de volta, Rodrigo. What? It's so rude to dictate hygiene procedure to a lady, under any circumstance. Even for those she load mouths with the illusion of leadership. Maybe you should try to think about the dumb things that fall out of your protein shoot for once, Ventus. Blah blah blah. Now my shoot is going a fucking stellar impression of something that doesn't give a shit. Anyway, you know my blood's the prettiest and you'd obviously kill to have it. No, it sucks. Totally happy with mine. Nice try, though. B.S. Why would you hide between your lame gray and anonymity then? You do realize everyone thinks that's totally lame, right? It's nobody business. I don't see why it should be a matter of public record. I'm not going to wear that shit on my sleeve like you do. Literally and figuratively. It's private, so everyone can go point their probing, busy body sniff notes up their own impertinent seed flaps. Fine. 
like anyone really cares. It's just so lame and insecure. So why don't you tell me what I've got to do here? I await instruction from my big shot blooded leader. <sighs> okay, first things first. You've got to connect with Tavros quickly and get him in the session before he gets killed. Ugh, what? Can someone else do that? No. Why? Oh no. What's the big deal? Just do it. But I hate that guy. Who cares? This is your command decision? Getting someone who hates a guy to save his life? Pretty weak, boss. Why do you even hate him? It's fucking ridiculous. If anything, you should pity him. Especially since you were the one to paralyze him. I know. I don't really understand it. It's just a really special kind of hate. It never goes away and it doesn't make a lot of sense. This is kind of a weird time to be confiding in me about your feelings of black romance, but okay. Oh god, what? I mean, if you're really implying Tavros is your kissmesses, I think you're bringing up the wrong front nub. Both parties have to hate each other equally. I mean, like true hate. Maybe your feelings come somewhat close to fitting the bill, but I don't think he can hate anyone. It's weird. He's kind of broken in the head. Fuck, what are you talking about? I think this subject is beyond a lot of people's grasp, but I know a lot about it. Nobody ever really wants to talk to me about it, though. Whoa, really? Oh, no shit, really? Okay, most people who haven't had their lobe stem cauterized are capable of feeling the two primary emotions, hate and pity. Pity is, of course, just the toned-down version of the central emotion, hate. And all the nuances of PT manifest as various other kinds of feelings, like whatever chemical reactions trigger mating founders are the mysterious forces that are behind moral agents. Caricat, holy fuck, so boring. A well balanced person is, is going to have a good distribution, distribution between hate and the various PT humors. Having a good balance keeps all the emotions sharper. See, I think that's your problem. Oh, I hope you know I already wore out some good note-taking pens today. All the pens. All of them. See, my hate is like a finely tuned instrument because I'm aware of these principles. I could hate a hole in paradox space itself, straight through a new reality fresh for the hating. <laughs> you don't even know how much I'm laughing at this. But see, you're too heavy on the hate side, or at least you pretend to be, which is maybe worse. You aren't reading anything I say, are you? You just want to talk and talk and talk. And you think you're hating up everyone hard when you're really just burning out that entire emotional hemisphere. It's like lukewarm hate. Pretenders hate with no counterpoint at all. As such, there's no real substance to your hate. It's like a cardboard movie prop. Which is why your brain is broken, kind of like Tavros, but on the opposite hemisphere, I guess. Or maybe your broken brain led to the imbalance in the first place, I don't know. Whatever the case is, you're kind of emotionally screwed, sorry to say. Your hate's too dull for proper kissmesses, in my opinion. And I don't see anyone champing at a bit to be your moral, honestly. Unless there's someone out there who would actually bother pitting you. And the land... And landing a mate spread? Ha 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 ha! Seriously, like that would even interest you. Basically, any feature of your emotional profile that usually makes someone viable in the red room department must be totally fried. Your black room potentials probably more toes too. Hey, are you there? Oh yeah, I started turning you out. Are you done? No way, I could go on. This is fascinating. Tell me how the fuck this isn't fascinating. Did you learn this crap from your awful romance movies? They are really intriguing sociologically. Incredibly complex, sophisticated stories, you wouldn't get it. Hey asshole, stop watching movies for girls. What part of intriguing sociologically don't you understand? Also, they're awesome, shut up. Ah, oh, okay, man. Just let me connect to a stupid... Boy, don't fuck so I don't have to listen to this anymore. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait. I never even got to the damn point. What is it now? I didn't need you specifically to connect with 
tra uh, to Tavros. I mean, I could get any schlub to do that. You just have to get in here ASAP, because I really need your mind powers. You do? I mean, obviously you do, duh. What for? I ran into someone here, a sort of double agent, I guess. His name is Jack. Oh, fuck. He has some inside information about his kingdom. He wants to work together with us to overthrow the Black Queen. So I said okay. And now I need your help. Um, okay. I can try. What does he know? He recently got hold of some intel regarding a weakness in the Queen's defenses. I don't know any more than that. But we've got to hurry and get started on this thing. Or it could get kind of awkward. Awkward? What do you mean? I mean, he's just standing here now, waiting for me, I guess. But it's okay. I think he's pretty much settled down. Settled down? Well, he stabbed me once. He stabbed me once. Oh, only once. Are you sure you should trust him? I don't know if I would, but hey, I'm not the leader. No, no, it's cool. He's cool. It's fine. I don't really mind the stabbing. It was all a misunderstanding. Well, okay, I'm pretty sure he meant to stab me. But I kind of think that's like the way he greets people. This game is so stupid. In any case, I think he's probably all stabbed out. Whew, oh man, since you're bleeding, I should ask Terezi what color your blood is. Good luck with that. She can't see me or smell me or anything. I'm way out of my hive somewhere else on the planet. Okay, then I'll ask Jack. No, Jack won't tell. I made him promise he wouldn't tell. Damn it! Stupid lousy tuggle lipid step happy double agents. Doesn't Trollium have some kind of viewport feature? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure only Solox know how to set that up. And he has been incommunicado for hours for some reason. Anyway, the whole feature seems totally invasive and largely pointless to me, so just forget it. Yeah, okay, here we are about to embark on an espionage mission. A spying too sounds totally useless. Another great point, Captain. Whatever. Just get your ass in here so we can dethrone this goddamn queen. It'll mean one less god boss we have to fight. Fine, I'll be right there. Just try not to lose too much of your mystery blood and die. Então, o Carcat ele não gosta de falar pros outros qual que é a cor do sangue dele, por isso que a cor do sangue dele aqui tá desse jeito. Na verdade, ela não é dessa cor, né? Ela não é multicor. Ela tem uma cor só. Só que tá mandando um mistério. Obrigada pelo abraço, Rica. Muito obrigada. Be Jack for a few minutes ago. Pô, obrigada, Rica. Ele se preocupa de não fazer barulhinho. <coughs> Jack, a few minutes ago. You find the kid you've been looking for. He's got a pretty sharp tongue and can't seem to keep it sh uh, she 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 Ted. She Ted. Uh, he should learn up front. You're not no stranger to sharp objects yourself. He still won't shut up. He doesn't seem to care about the wound. He's just going on and on about the freaking color of his blood. He doesn't even want you to look at it. Just look away, he says. You've got to admit, now you're curious. Look at knife. You don't see what's the big deal. Nothing special, this kid's out of his mind. But he's still blubbering on and on about it. Então, é... como eu já expliquei na outra live, os trolls têm um sistema de casta que tem a ver com uma hierarquia, né? Que tem a ver com a cor do sangue deles. O Karkat, ele tem uma cor de sangue que é tipo a mais incomum de todas, que é um sangue vermelho, tipo humano. Não era pra ser assim. É, é, um, é tipo um tabu. E daí ele esconde de todo mundo a cor do sangue dele. Por isso que ele usa uma camiseta cinza, pra ninguém saber qual que é a cor do sangue dele. Aí ele já tem complexo de inferioridade, aí é isso. 
It seems he is the only one of his kind with this mutant candy red blood, an outcast. He thinks he was put on this planet covered in an ocean of his own blood to be taunted. Punished for something. Saddest story you ever heard. Got to do something to shut him up. E caralho. Ah, mostrou que o sangue dele é da mesma cor. Ai, que nojo. Be in cahoots with Jack. Operation Register uh, Huge Bitch. Blá blá. Sus, sus demais, né? You and your like blooded accomplice soon put Operation Hedge Serp into motion, a contingency plan which the Arc agent conveniently had on file and named himself. If it were drafted by a legitimate contingency firm, it would be ostensibly have been given a better title. Your whole team executes the plan along the course of its journey, employing espionage, mind control tactics, political sabotage, vicious interrogations, and cold-blooded assassinations. Everyone does their part, and you begin to learn the true meaning of teamwork, as well as this throw the seas called friendship. But Before a single step is taken, Jack briefs you on the intelligence uncovered by one of his agents. It is an advantage over the queen you will seize upon while she has let her guard down. With each prototyping by each player, the royalty of both sides would evolve. The queen, with her ring of orbs twelvefold, would first stake on the claws and rigged enriched carapace of your Lucius, and then the wings and scales of Therese's young dragon, and then the horns and jewels and cloven hooves of Gamzee's fallen custodian. And so it, will, it would continue. Through a queen is a vain, uh, though a queen is a vain creature, she is also sworn to her duty. She would be braced for the heavy load of argumentation ahead, She could certainly withstand the eight eyes of an arachnid. The fairy wings might be worst, uh, might at worst be frivolous, and the great bow horns could even be regarded as striking additions. For that matter, the sultry lips of a mother grub might very plausibly suit her. She perhaps would wear a brave. Uh, face even behind a, a dignified mustache, and the centering of her lower torso could transpire without much complaint. She would dutifully, dutifully indulge a lactating udder. And when all was said and done, doubling her head count would surely be insulting to elevenfold injury, but nothing she hadn't essentially endured already, all in the name of her kingdom. Tipo, todos os Lusos, eles meio que vão ser prototipados com os Kernel Sprites. E tudo que é prototipado com Kernel Sprite vai pra quem tá usando aquele anel, se vocês se lembram bem. E a rainha vai estar tá usando aquele anel. Então ela vai ficar com todas as características dos Lusos, conforme ela vai... Os Lusos vão sendo prototipados. Então ela vai virar um monstrão. But she would spare herself all of these additional debasements. Because before the rest came, there would be one corruption to her figure she could not abide. Her vanity wouldn't allow it. O sapo. She could not stand bearing the visage of the most loathsome creature known to existence. So vile is its appearance, so contemptible with its purpose. All depictions of the creature, let alone numbers of its population, are permanently banned from any jurisdiction in the reach of our agents. Those of its kind go by many names, and so does the reviled patron, God the Herald, the Great Detestation, King Pond's Quarter, Speaker of the Vast Joke, the Vast Joke, or most commonly, Bilius Slick. His true name is of course forbidden, and wearing his face is where she drew the line. Aí o anelzinho dos trolls tem vários negócios. Das crianças tem só quatro, porque são só quatro crianças. Das trolls são doze. E daí ela não pôs o anel. 
na verdade ela tirou o anel. She removed the ring and concealed it in the royal vault, while she was quite sure no one was looking. She then re retired to, of, to her private chamber, from which she would dispatch orders, no one to the wiser of her disadvantage, or so she thought. Execute Operation Regisurp. The operation in time would be a total success. The banished quasi royal would make the future Alternian wasteland her home. Ela vai virar um snowman depois. Until she was given a new purpose. Ok, então tá sendo assim. A Therese tá controlando o Carcat, que tá controlando a. Canaia, que tá controlando o Equius, eu acho. Que tá com... Não, mas a Canaia tá com os outros, né? Essa aqui deve ser a Risk, então. Mas isso aqui não é símbolo da Canaia. Enfim, que tá controlando o Equus. Não, o Equus é outro símbolo. Enfim, essa pessoa aqui tá controlando o Tavros, que tá controlando o Games e que tá controlando a Therese. É, não, é isso mesmo. É o Carcut. Um... Oh, porra, peraí que eu não sei mais. Oh, não. Tá, acho que eu entendi. Carca de Canaia, Vriska, Tavros, Gemzi, Terezi. Enquanto que aqui nós temos Nepeta, Aradia, Equius, Solux, uh, Feferi e Eridan. Hum, entendeu. But at... The onset, you would know nothing of the queen's aversion to an amphibious likeness, or about her orbs twelvefold, or any such details. You were informed of her disadvantage, and would not act accordingly. You and your red teammates would work to dethrone the queen in your session, while the, bl the blue team members would take on the entirely separate set of royal adversaries in their own session. This was to be a competition, after all. Or so you thought. You would begin to notice a strange pattern. The blue team's prototypings would affect the mutations of your session's underlings. And your prototypings would affect theirs. Ou seja, a sessão vale para todo mundo, não só para os times. Though the signs pointed to two distinct sessions, two sets of mystic runes, two opposing teams, two separate chains of connected players, this was all misleading. You were joining a particularly unusual bifurcated session, meant from the start to receive all 12 players through two separate connection chains. A session with one Skya about which 12 planets would circle, with one army of dark and one of light, with one pair of kings and one pair of queens, and with one cantankerous arch agent and his typical disdain for authority. It wouldn't be until later in the session, when the full chain was nearly closed, that you would realize the truth. The truth was it had always been the same session all along. That your teams were not competing, but cooperating toward a common goal. Ah, o vídeo do canal mais recente, né? É, eu tenho um canal, gente, que se chama Kaopacas. É K, opacas, tudo com K. <risos> Todos os sons de K é K mesmo. E daí eu lancei um vídeo novo sobre o resumo do primeiro episódio de um anime sobre fazer dicionário. Obrigada, Rika. Obrigada. É... E o vídeo tá legal, eu editei ele ontem. Eu fiquei a tarde inteira editando ele. Foi maneiro. 
Então, estamos assim. É resumo, é resumo. É... Nepeta, Leão. Libra, Terese. Capricórnio, Aradia. Câncer, Carcat. Sagitário, Equius. Uh, Virgem, Canaia. Gêmeos, Solux. Escorpião, Vrisca. Peixes, Feferi. Touro, Tavros. Aquário, Eridan. E Capricórnio, Gamzi. Ah, eu falei Capricórnio para Aradia, mas na verdade é Aris para Aradia. In the more drawn out form of this adventurous narrative, figuring this out would have been a huge deal. We would have been completely blown away by this stunning revelation. Wow, same session all along, really? Huh? But, since we've decided to engage this epic in shorthand, you feel you must insist that we continue with this expository interlude. It would turn out the arrangement of planets look like this, rather. Bifurcated from each other, each team appearing to comprise a distinct chain in a distinct session without the luxury of the complete picture we see here. It appeared that way until it was time to link the two chains, completing the circuit of 12 and uniting the team, and uniting the teams. For these final two links, Skaya had a plan, and it did with the order of every preceding link, and as it did with the paradoxical seating of its own players on the surface of the planet, it would later devastate to buy itself time. Its plan was an inex inescapable as all others, as inevitable as the reckoning it would ultimately, ultimately face. Mobius double reach around. <laughs> tá, então do Karkat vai pro Solux. E do Equius vai pra Canaia. After watching the phrase Mobius double and reach around toggle for a few minutes while in a sort of stupor, you finally <laughs> snap out of it. Your attention drifts toward these two symbols. O so, o, a Feferi e o Eridan. You would try to be these mysterious characters, but you suspect you would fail, so you don't bother. They're way too mysterious for you to be let them to let them to be them yet. Seriously, what's up with these guys? Do they live underwater or something? What's their deal? We'll learn all about them in a little later. Aí temos aqui a... a canaia, né? For that matter, what about this young lady? What is her deal? E a moto passando, qual que é o deal dela? We'll probably find out about her later too. It will probably be quite some time before you get to be her. It could very well be pages and pages and pages and pages and pages and pages. Ah, nós somos ela. Seriously, it could take forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and her name. Soon you see your name is Kenaya Marian. You are one of the few of your kind who can withstand the blistering Alternian sun, and perhaps the only one who enjoys the feel of its rays. As such, you are one of the few of your kind who has taken a shining to landscaping. You have cultivated a lush oasis around your hive, and in particular, 
You have honed your craft through the art of topiary, sculpting your trees to match the puffy oracles from your dreams. You have embraced the tool of the trade, which conveniently is the weapon of choice for those who would hunt the heinous broods of the undead, which crawl from the sand at sunrise to feast on the light of the living and the living. It would be convenient if you actually hunted them. But it is, of course, far too dangerous, every bit as suicidal as attempting to poach the terrible muscle beasts who roam at night. So you endowed in your bright fascination with the grim thought through literature. Just before the sun goes down and you join your flora in rest, You immerse yourself in tales of rainbow drinkers and shadow droppers and forbidden passion. You are one of the few of your kind with jade green blood. As such, you are one of the few who could be selected and raised by a virgin mother grub. An event so rare as to elude documented precedent. Sh precedent. She would defend you from desert threats. And through her life would be sh though her life would be short, in time you would assure her a, pro a progeny. You are one of the few of your kind whose affection for the aesthetic strongly overpowers instinctive, instinctive regard for the utilitarian. As such, You are one of the few of your kind who has developed a zeal for fashion and design and lively colorful patterns. You decorate your hive with flora and fabric as delicately or aggressively as inspiration demands. You are a seamstress or a rag reaper or a tree trimmer or a lumberjack, whichever you care to be. And your unique hive is equipped with a great supply of advanced technology to accommodate your interests. The technology and indeed the hive itself were all recovered from the ruins nearby when you were very young. The seed of your hive was deployed on the volcanic rocks beneath the sand with the assistance of your Lucis and her remarkable burrowing skills, and you have lived there happily together since. You know the ruins and the hives and everything here that is not sand and rock originated from the world of your dreams. You also know that one day you will visit this world while you are awake. That day is today. Your troll tag is Grim Auxiliatrix and you tend to enunciate each word you speak very clearly and carefully. What will you do? Equip Chainsaw. Chainsaw Man! Oh no! What Chainsaw? You are quite sure there is no chainsaw leaning on that bookshelf. There is, however, a tube of lipstick on the floor. A serra elétrica virou um batom. É isso. Esse é o gif. Fine. Equip that then. Run dun 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 dun. Makeup kind. Mudou até de roupa. Tô bonita. All right, let's settle down. No need to get hysterical. Oh, there goes your wardrobe fire again. Never a dull moment in fashion when the randomized cycle is on. Tipo a Jade, né? Apply. Pachou o batonzinho, ou vai pachar o batonzinho. You can choose between your trademark Jade or Black, even though a troll's lips are naturally black. But they can always be blacker, and the lady with a true sense of style knows this. In any case, you think you'll mix it up and go with green for a while. Answer CC, que é a Feferi. Hello! Hey! Can I a hi? Blub 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 blub! You seem more excited than usual, or less, I can't tell. Help me, uh, tell without saying glub. Glub, 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 glub,
Even though no one knows how to make a mouth do a question shape like that. Opa, fala, tulis da galera. Como vai você? Tá de férias? Tá sossegado? Muito obrigada pelo seu resub de 27 meses. É muito amorzinho. Valeu. Como vai? Boa noite. Haha, <laughs> sorry. I can't really control the gloves. Yes, you can. But that's fine, you can glob to the content of your collapsing and expanding bladder-based aquatic vascular system if it means you are excited about something. I am excited! Okay, why? Everything we are about to do next is exciting. It is always exciting. I... I'm excited. Pchew! It looks like one of your letters got away from you. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I really launched that one. You forked that an innocent D loitering over there by the shout pole, minding its own business. Hehe. <laughs> glup, glup, glup. Hey, let's stop being retarded for a minute. Yeah, sure. Vou printar essa parte aqui. I am just worked up about this game. It will be great. I've been waiting a long time to get started. We all have. I thought so. I have been cloaked in a mood for, of perpetual anticipation for some time as well. Vai ter curso de férias? Como é que é um curso de férias, rapaz? Cara, bom descanso pra você então, mano. É, isso aí. We should compare notes, even though we are on different teams. Well, not really. Uh, really? See, this is why we should be comparing notes. What notes would you like to submit for comparison? Um, well, I'm going to join my team pretty late. I think I have to. I will need to connect after my goofball Moirail does so I can keep my goggles on his nefarious escapades. Ah, entendi. It's a tough job, but it's important. Everyone has an important job to do. Yeah. Isn't that what you're doing too? Joining late to keep an eye on yours? I don't know for a fact that she's mine. Haha. <laughs> you're not supposed to know for a fact, dummy. You just do what you think is right. And even if you were wrong, the worst that happened was you helped somebody and helped the whole world too. I know. But what I what if I don't really want her to be that? Glub 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 shrug. Yeah, glub glub shrug is the right attitude, I think. Our minds are already made up anyway, aren't they? Yes, probably. Your clouds tell you everything, so what do you even have to worry about? They don't tell me everything. Just as I am sure she doesn't whisper everything to you. Oh, that's true. Oh, uh, shucks. Now I'm going to get sad. She will be gone soon. Though, I guess uh, it will be a relief uh, not to have to worry about keeping her voice down anymore. I wonder if any other kid on the planet has m as many burdens in the fire as you. I doubt it. They aren't burdens. Okay, I guess they are... Uh... Haha. <laughs> but... I love them, and I wouldn't have it any other way, because this is why I'm here. And on that note, I think I'm going to go say goodbye to her. Maybe you should too, while you have the chance. Even though I will see her again soon. Which still seems kind of strange to me. But that's why this is all so exciting. Kanaya, bye! Check on Lucis. You had nearly forgotten. Today her time would come. Maybe you should be there in her final moment. But then it isn't exactly final, is it? Death is pretty confusing without the finality. Hmm, que bonita. It's too late. You'd better change back into your work clothes. No point in getting a good dress dirty. Go downstairs. Morreu já. She brought you this far. Now, to live up to your end of the bargain, operate. Passou o batonzinho ali. Marcou onde que ela vai serrar. E agora é a hora do... Sport. 
pegou isso aí. Capture log, that thing. Guardou. Meu Deus, cheio de escadeada. You secured the matriarch through your chastity modus. Safe and sound. You will serendipitously discover the key to unlock this card when and only when you are ready to use this item and not a moment before. Look at this mess. All this blood and sunlight is stirring bright feelings within. You often fantasize about being a true rainbow drinker from your literature. It would be a life of darting between the shadows, of persecution and being misunderstood, and a romance. You would drink heavily from its multicolored well. And the Hamo Spectrum would be your wine list preceding the great feast of passion. Surely it couldn't hurt while no one is looking? Just a taste. Vai lamber o sangue da sua própria mãe? Que coisa estranha. <laughs> Não gostou. Que bom, né? Metal with Moil Rail. What? Just wanted to know. Is your Lucy's dad yet? You then proceed to have the rest of this conversation we already read, budging and fussing and meddling through the special and magical union, union one can only describe as being in moil rail allegiance with another. At least you guess that's how you would describe it. Maybe. Troll romance sure is confusing. You will put her out of your mind for a while. It should be how hours before you have to connect with her anyway. Might as well pack this thing up and head inside. Oh, what now? What could this guy want? It never ends. Answer CA. Okay. Ken, make her talk to me. Do something. Who? You're no good can't even fucking backstabbing girl crush. That's who. Overstating our relationship won't make me feel very cooperative. It's paler red than that's than that okay. Psh, that is a fucking laugh and you know it, everyone does. So help me out, tell her to talk to me. I think she blocked me, you got to. Why do I got to? I don't got to and every time you take my help for granted, I feel like I got to a little less. Whatever, you're so village too, will devise when it comes to auspicing. You can't let a grudge go by, you won't stick your business in between, so get with the program, Fussy Fangs. If your slender weren't so predictable, I'd block you too for saying that. Has it occurred to you she may have blocked you because you are very overbearing? I just said that uh, aloud now, in your silly accent, and had a private moment of enjoyment. Who gives a shit why she blocked me? Or about my fucking manners? Come on, you've got away with her. I figure if you're going to auspiticize any two brine suckers who's near at each other in a funny way, you might as well make it official and be ours, right? Your black solicitation just seems really indecent. Indecent. I don't know. What do you want from her anyway? She made me something for a prior arrangement. She will deliver it when we meet in this game, but I don't know what the logistics are yet. I'm trying to connoiter with her, but she's blowing me off again. Frickle dirt scrapping land egg. What is it? Can stop it. What do you think? It's a fucking gizmo to blow up the world or something. Okay, well, not that, obviously. But something that'll kill all land dwellers. What else would I be after? Can you just for a moment entertain the thoughts of one untouched by megalomaniacal derangement and tell me why I'd want to assist you with that? Well, well. I'm not going to very well kill you, am I? That would be fucking unconscionable. What kind of friend would I be? Also, speculate for a moment that self-preservation might not be what would sway my decision. Yeah, go ahead and kiss us off, but there will be blood in your hands. 
You could either play as our speed switch or do a little meditating like you were a fucking hash too. Or watch she and me devolve into fucking full flesh kisses messages the kind like you don't get once in 10,000 sweeps. You could, you know, that's what it would be. There would be a rainbow rivers running through star season and all nebulizing like liquid fireworks. It will be beautiful and heartbreaking all at once. You should read up on your history instead of pouring through that god awful sunny rubbish. It's just laborious listening to this. I'm sorry, none of it matters. Yeah, it does, it's important, sorry, but the fate of the race and purity of the bloodline is important, excuse me for being concerned. I know. But you really should know by now, the world will end tonight regardless. Land and sea dwellers alike will all die. Because of the game we are, we are about to play. And I agree, the fate of the race is important, but... It is in my hands now. All of ours, really. Oh, well, okay. Really. Ordinarily, I'd call bullshit on terrible stinking BS like that, but I know you don't really lie about stuff, unless it's to yourself. But that's why I bother even talking to you. I wouldn't even be here saying any of this otherwise. So, did your clouds tell you that? The doomsday scenario in particular. No, not exactly. I got clouds and they don't tell me shit. They hide nothing but misfortune and monstrosities. Fucking pain in the ass, fucking clouds. So how do you know them? I have another source. Okay, well, you are jack tied fucking to this thing in so many ways. I don't know what to say anymore. Whatever, we'll just play and find out, I guess. So, can you tell her to talk to me anyway? No. God damn it. She and me are teammates. We've got to have a pow or some pow wow. You aren't actually on the same team. Fuck, fine, I get it, I will step off. You don't want to be our auspices, cause you don't want to get looked into, locked into that sort of relation with her, I can respect that. No, that's not it. Yeah, it is your real feelings run pretty off rude in me things everybody knows it. Especially that ass blood carcat he and me have you so packed about that. It's a bright silly. But it's cool, it's totally fine. Don't worry, I'll leave you alone and give you a shot. It's unbelievable, her patience. What? Whoa, wait, woohoo. Never mind. Okay, wait. Did she talk to you today, <laughs> Dalek? <laughs> what she said? Uh, or a glove or whatever? Something about longing to touch you indiscreetly. Whoa, 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 what? And that she's basically in the scarlet throes for you. As deep in the flush quadrant as one can be. Whoa, wait, did she actually say that in confidence? Due to the letter. Can you copy exactly what she said? Absolutely not. This is bullshit, you're BSing me in some way awful. You don't lie, but you do tease, and I'll transfuse my kick as royal blood out with uncontinent muscle beast char discharge if I won't know when I'm getting hooked. Yeah. She's just a concerned moral real, looking out for you, that's all. Oh, for fuck. See, I'm telling you, you've got to play your cards right. What do you mean? If you're not savvy about how you define yourself to people, you can just splash into the monorail zone before you know the which wave away is up forward. Oh, um, Ken, it's hard. What? Being a kid and growing up, it's hard and nobody understands. Return to room. Esse foi o Eridan, pessoal. <laughs> o Eridan é chato pra caralho. Uh, there is a lot to do before you enter. There will be a lot of people to talk to and help along the way. No, not meddle with or mediate. Help, damn it. You are very helpful. 
You have a lot of inside information on what you and your co-players are about to face. Quase que cosplayers. You are jack tied the fuck into this thing in so many ways we don't know what to say anymore. And it's not just cloud visions either. You have another source. Consult source. Mm. Ih, porra. Tá lendo o fac da Rosie. In one dream, the clouds pointed you to the address of a server hidden in an obscure pocket of a realm unknowable to mortals. It contains a journal written by a young member of an alien species. She has documented her experiences playing the game you are about to play. You can only assume this took place a long time ago. This race is likely ancient, preceding yours by millions of sweeps, maybe billions. You like to try to imagine the adventures of these players. Whether were they successful in repopulating their race? Did they manage to protect their matriarch and hatch a new mother grub? Could they hold it together? Or were they torn apart by the complex social dynamics, the mage the mate spreadships and moral religions and auspicisms and kismesicitudes that will surely plague your group along the way. You have little doubt they succeeded with flying colors. Ela fazendo fanfic sobre a Rose. <laughs> Essa aqui é a Rose na cabeça da canaia. Ah, que bonitinho. Antes de namorar com a Rose, ela já tinha fanfic sobre a Rose. You have little doubt their victory was because of their leader, a great Hurian, the tentacle therapist. From what she recorded, it seems the group had very little knowledge of what they were getting into. And yet, they appear to have been the only of their kind to have risen to the challenge in a session stacked heavily against them. You are convinced their leadership was the difference. It would be nice to have the chance to talk to her. Alas? Um, she's likely been dead for millennia. Only the incomplete record of a long forgotten quest remains. On the other hand, if you were to discover her quest ended in failure, it might be somewhat disillusioning. But that thought never crossed your mind. Enter. Otavros entrou. Having narrowly dodged obliteration, you take your place as the Page of Breath in the land of sand and zephyr, and in time... Tavros! Go outside and look at what I built for you. You're going to flip. Okay. Ah, oh, filha da puta. Ela não fez isso. I think this is uh, probably meant to antagonize me. What you're talking about? Look at my beautiful building. Don't you think it's about time someone got a little creative with this game? Uh, maybe. Everyone always wants to do things the boring way. Didn't we make a truce, Tavros? That we would try to be less boring from now on? You don't want to break your truce with me, do you, Tavros? No. Great, now get climbing. Please don't read this as a boring thing, I hope, but it's physically impossible to do that, mostly. Man, I knew it. Toria's news is back in action. Why don't you, in like a not boring way, build more inclined surfaces like you did over there? Maybe you could color them with fun colors so you won't think they're boring and get angry at me some more. I built that ramp because we were in a hurry to save our life, remember? A dead Tavros is even more boring than a live encrypt Tavros by a slim margin. My star structure is lovely and I'm not changing it. Now hop out of your wheel device and get climbing. Uh, climbing? Or crawling, whatever. Stop being so helpless, it's pathetic. It will be take a long time. What's the rush? You're in the game. Safe and sound. Look in the sky, do you see any meteors? I sure don't. But there are imps around, 
and I'll be sort of defenseless, lying down on stairs. Sigh. You did not just use that excuse. We both know you can commune with these things. Hey. Why don't you physically command them to carry you up? Oh my god, that is a great idea! Once again, leave it to Riska to come up with the creative solutions. I wouldn't really want to make them do that. I just don't understand why. We can't do this the easy way. What good would that do to you? Whatever the purpose of this game is, it makes you work hard for it. That way you become stronger along the way and you are better prepared for whatever's next. Remember when we used to flarp together? It was the exact same principle and that's why you're always outmatched. You were too soft and not well prepared. Nothing comes easy, Tavros. That is why we go through the trials in the brooding caverns when we are young. To make sure we are strong when we come out. Well, to make sure we are strong when we come out. Do you remember the trials, Severus? Not very well, no. Well, I do, and they were a bitch. But now that I think about it, it would make perfect sense if your trials were really easy by some mistake. That is why you are such a soggy flung sponge. And why you got picked by such a sad, frail little Lucius. Hmm. But that's okay. It probably wasn't your fault. Uh, but that's okay. It probably wasn't your fault. Just a bad break. You're lucky you have me as a server player, so I can challenge you and help you get strong. Now, hop out of that seat and get climbing. I will deliver the device to you once you are at the top. Climb, Papa. Climb. Maybe I should ask Tinkerbell about this. He's really smart now that he can talk. No, you don't need help from your lame bow fairy. He's only holding you back. He's my friend. God, pathetic. This is getting frustrating. Why did I have to get stuck with a cripple? Just my luck. Do you have any idea how inconvenient this is? Do you have any sympathy for that I'm dealing with here? For what I'm dealing with here? Ugh, you're so inconsiderate. You just sit there looking smug. It's infuriating to look at you. You haven't even thanked me or apologized for that matter. Ah, uh, Vriska, thank you for saving my life. I'm, it sure was brave and right and pretty of you. Also, I'm, the, I'm, I'm sorry for the bottom of my nook. Seriously, how hard would have the, would have been? Would that have been? Okay, thanks, I guess, but sorry for what? For being crippled, you ask? You want me to apologize for being paralyzed? Yes, say you're sorry. I don't mean to be rude or boring, but that's ridiculous given uh, the circumstances. Bullshit! It's something called basic decency and civility, you fudge-blooded... More? Now get down on your useless wobbly knees and apologize. No, I don't want to. Ah. Como vocês podem ver, a Vriska é uma puta. Boa noite, Felipe. Eu estou bem e você, tudo bom? Cara, que filha da mãe. Ela pode simplesmente pegar a cadeira dele e levar ela para cima. Apologize, Poopa. Apologize. Say you're sorry for being a cripple. We. <laughs> Some of you. Now she's done it. She has awoken the mighty inner fury that is Rufio. Então, é, vou explicar para vocês quem é o Rufio. É baseado naquele na, uh, naquele filme do Peter Pan que o Robin Williams faz o Peter Pan. Tem o Rufio lá, que é o Dante Basco. O Dante Basco é simplesmente a voz do Zuko em inglês, no Avatar. É um ator que também é dublador. E daí esse daqui é ele. Só que é a versão troll dele. É uma bagunça, eu sei. But, unfortunately, Rufio is not real. He's imaginary, a fake. Like a made-up friend, the way fairies are. You continue to be sad and alone. Whee! Q. 
que filha da fruta. Ah, que bom que você vai bem, Felipe. Isso, Hulk. Aí o Equius controla a Risk, que eu me lembre. E daí ele tá controlando aqui, tipo, ei. Ah, não. É a Canaia. É a Canaia. Eu fiquei confusa por causa do negocinho ser azul. Mas é a Canaia. Então, do mesmo jeito que a Vrisca enche o saco do Tavros, a Canaia pode fazer isso com a Vrisca. <coughs> hey, what's your deal? Shouldn't you be helping me out of this jam instead of fussing with my plumbing? Just presenting a floating reminder that Tavros will need plenty of inclined surfaces for his ascent. That's silly. I made so many ramps, you wouldn't even believe it. I specifically decided I wanted to build something ugly and boring. It is now the land of ramps and yawns. Ha he's reported otherwise. That lousy snitch. Maybe I should take his computer away so he can't go crying to fussy fangs anymore. Maybe I should append this load gapper over your head. No, don't! I'm still learning the interface. It could happen accidentally at any moment. I'm only trying to help him. Think of another way to help. Fine. I'll do something nice. I have an idea. I'll be right back. And for the record, I was going to do this anyway. I was just trying to make him a better player first. Okay. In the meantime, how about, how about I serve my client player the way I think is best? And you can do the same for yours? Hmm, I thought I was. Scurry downstairs. <laughs> Ela desfilando. Tales of Destiny. É daquela série de jogos Tales of? Deve ser, né? Caralho, tanto de coisa. You make your way down to one of your innumerable loot strongholds where you stash riches and gold and jewels and prizes plundered during your campaigns. There they are, your rocket boots. You must confess you will find flavor, favor with just about any kind of footwear as long as it is bright red. You would wear these striking boots even if they were broken pieces of junk. But, but, as it happens, they work just fine, and they're awesome. Take them. Diggle. Got back up. Go back up. Quick, quit cleaning up after me. You're so ridiculous. Ela tá limpando. Ela tá tirando dados assim. Get code. Pegou o código. Sand code. Pshus! Alchemize. Pronto, agora sim. Fly, Pupa. Fly! Caralho, ele tá indo pra todos os lugares, menos pra cima. Ah, tá. Ele finalmente foi pra cima. Fly! And again, in time. Olha que bonito. Tavros. Lead fearsome entourage into ruins. Ah, ele tá... É... Usando os poderes dele. Comfort with teammate. Yes, another piece fits. We are making some strict progress on this puzzle. Oh, that's cool, I guess. So, where do you think is the next one? Uh, I don't know. Probably buried in the stupid sand somewhere like all the others. Okay, that's mostly what I was thinking too, but... It suddenly doesn't sound like you think the puzzle is cool. The puzzle sucks. All these puzzles suck. If I have to help you put one more dumb slab of boring rock into another stu stupid wall in indentation, I'm going to put an indentation in my desk with my face. But it, uh, it looks like a frog. And that's kind of fun. Snore. These puzzles are for wigglers. I solved way better puzzles than this in my heyday as Mindfang. Oh, look, some ruins. Oh, look, another mysterious recess in the wall. I wonder if something fits in there. 
It probably just opens a secret page tomorrow while in detention. I'm so over this puzzle. Uh, but they are necessary to solve, aren't they? To find new magic artifacts and things and learn more about the lore of this land. Tavros, let me let you in a little secret about the lore of your land. It's boring! <laughs> Look out, Felipe. Oh. The minds of your concerts are very soft and impressionable. As easily manipulated as those as all those imps you've been bossing around. I have picked apart their tiny little lizard brains and seen through all the smoke and mirrors of their riddles riddles. I have gotten to the truth they are guarding. The great big mystery behind this planet. And you know what is it, Tavros? No. It's bullshit! Meaningless, boring, fanciful bullshit wrapped in flowery poems to keep you guessing. It all leads to one thing anyway, and that's what we should put our attention to. Real gamers cut to the chase. They power through all the nonsense and go for the gold. They cheat, Tavros. It is time you learn to start cheating. I thought I kind of was cheating by making friends with monsters. Well, it's a good start. You're bending the rules and getting stuff done. Okay, I will admit it. I am fairly impressed with your progress so far, even though you still pro probably haven't even killed a single enemy. Um, no, don't bother. I know you haven't. But maybe that's okay. Maybe it's just your style and your real strength is surrounding yourself with allies who are much stronger than you, like me. I'm sure there's more than one way up the egg ladder. In your case, probably the only way is to roll gently up the egg ramp. The path of the invalid. Yeah, I agree. But I think it's time to stop fucking around. You need to be challenged more. Fala, ONU. Perdeu. <laughs> Mas tá tudo bem, depois você pode ver no YouTube. Perdeu mais ou menos umas 100 páginas ou mais. I have been designing a quest for you that should test your true limits. Oh, is that what you were doing all this time? Yes. I mean, not that I don't appreciate it, but don't you have your own quest to do? Yeah, well, after she got me in the game, Kanaya just left me in the lurch. Probably because she's dealing with her own crisis now. Which is just as well, because I was starting to get nanny hard. You wouldn't even believe it. Nannied. So I had some time to kill. I drew you a map. Wow. Here, take a look. It marks what will be your new destination. Where you will find the ultimate challenge. Look at map. Two seventh gates go here. More boring puzzle. Ignore them. Zzz, puzzles. Okay. Where does it go? I have determined from your consorts that there is a terrible monster deep underground. It guards a horde of tre treasure bigger than either of us can imagine. It is called the Denizen, and it is the boss of your whole planet. Tavros, you will go and face your Denizen. Won't that be too difficult? It will be the most powerful adversary you have ever met. But you can handle it. I believe in you. Ah, uh, thanks. I mean, I respect that you have lots of parity, bravado about stuff, and you type fast about it. But I think this is foolish and not sensible. I will probably just get killed, realistically. Maybe. That is the risk you take by being a brave adventurer. But... It is a good opportunity to apply your cunning. Maybe you can really you can rally a huge army to bend to your will and overwhelm the monster? Who knows? It is up to you. This is it, Tavros. It's time to sink or swim. I should get Kanaya's advice. Or maybe Karkat, since he's the leader. No! Oh god, every time. Always going on and getting to others to bail you out. Anyway, Kanai is missing in action and Karakat has his head up his nook with his new stabby hate friend. <sighs> Neither can help you. 
it's just hard to figure out if you really think this is a good idea strategically or if it's just more of the thing where you harass me but sound excited about it. Tavros, I know everybody, nobody believes me about this. Probably not even a gullible dope like you. But I actually care about your advancement as a player. Everything I have done has been meant to make you stronger. Okay. I still don't think what to what what to believe about that. Ugh, you are useless. I'm done talking about us. Now shut up and point the cherry vehicle of yours toward the exit of the, on that map. Next stop, gate 7. Let's go. Ah, uh, this isn't optional. You know very well that I can make you go to that gate whether you want to or not. But I would rather it not have to come to that. What will it be? Advance or advance? Okay, I'll go. Oh, one last thing. Equip your boy Skylark outfit. This will be Poopa's last stand. I mean, sit. <laughs> Point cherry vehicle toward X on map. E tá indo pro gate. Isso vai dar ruim pra caralho. E alguém crashou aqui. You proceed through that what seems to be your second gate into the land of maps and treasure. The thief of light lies in wait. Oh. Well. Wake up. Oh my. It appears Poopa Pen himself has flown through your windows while you were asleep. How exciting. Surely he is here to take you away on the adventure of a lifetime. He is more dreamy and heroic than you ever imagined. But what's this? It seems the legendary boy Skylark has misplaced his shadow. He is looking everywhere for it, to no avail. He's having a devil of a time, what, with being paralyzed from the waist down and all. He clearly needs your help. Help Poopa find Shadow. Ela tá reencenando Peter Pan. Poopa Pan, quer dizer, né? Poopa, you truly are a silly goose. Your shadow has been trapped underneath your useless torso the whole time. Honestly, where else would it be, you stupid sack of shit? Of course. The secret to reuniting with your shadow is to get up and walk around and play and dance and frolic. Your shadow you will surely join in your gaiety. But it appears Poopa has lost the use of his legs. There will be no frolicking in this young man's future. Aww, unless... Apply special stardust. Poof! Everyone knows that just a pinch of special stardust along with a happy thought will allow any boy to get up and walk again. Everyone knows this because it is in the classic tale Poopa Pen. Young Poopa flies through the window of a fairy girl's respite block, falls on the floor and has trouble getting up like an enormous pansy. The fairy girl then helps him walk again and in return he teaches her to fly, even though she probably already knows how to fly, because she's a fairy. They fly out of her window together and have magical adventures for many sweeps thereafter. To be honest, you hardly know a damn thing about Poopa Pen, but you do not care. Poopa remains as pathetic and useless as ever. The Stardust did nothing, probably because it is just glittery powder with no magical properties whatsoever, and it's basically bullshit. Because in case it wasn't clear, magic isn't real, and neither are miracles. Or, it could just be that Poopa has failed to have a happy thought. Your duty is clear, you'll have to make him have happy thoughts. Make Poopa have happy thoughts. No risk, don't. Don't! Nossa, que puta vigarista, meu Deus. Do céu. Ela é muito doida, cara. Manipulate. Ela é doida pra caralho. Deal with your own crisis. Ok, then. <laughs> certo. Eu acho que por hoje tá bom, né? Eu tô um pouco 
Eu tô um pouco... Como é que fala? Esqueci a palavra. Tô um pouco abismada com o quão longe a Vriska vai. Ela não gosta do Tarus, mas ela faz essas coisas. O que não faz sentido nenhum. Ah, enfim, foram usadas palavras estranhas hoje, tipo... Auspices ou algo assim, e My Rail, e... As outras duas palavras que eu esqueci agora. Mas... Isso vai ficar pra uma outra live. Eu vou explicar isso depois. Basicamente... Os trolls... Tem uma ideia de romance diferente da nossa. Eles não dividem romance do mesmo jeito que a gente. A gente tem, tipo, amor. Aí, tipo, as duas pessoas se amam e é isso. E amizade. As duas pessoas são amigas e é isso. Ou é, arqui-inimigos, no caso de histórias, né? As pessoas se odeiam e pronto. Eles não. Eles têm um bagulho meio esquisito lá. É, é simples, mas pode ser complicado. É um quadrante. Então... Tem um quadrante que é simples, que é o de amar. Tem um quadrante... E, e o de odiar também é simples. E o de amizade é simples também. O que eu acho mais complicadinho, mas talvez não seja tanto, se você parar pra pensar, é o Auspich lá. É um nome esquisito. Que tem a ver com duas pessoas se odiarem, mas ficarem bem uma com a outra por causa de um intermediário, que é uma terceira pessoa. Então, nesse caso, seria um triângulo. Mas enfim, isso fica para um outro momento. Eu vou parar aqui na parte da canaia. A gente leu da página 2222 até a 2386. A gente leu mais do que 100 páginas. Eu não sei quantas páginas a gente está lendo por live, tem que calcular isso depois. Mas é isso, pessoal. Espero que vocês estejam gostando. Uh, vou postar isso aqui no YouTube depois, para o pessoal que já está vendo isso no YouTube. Olá, pessoal do YouTube! Comenta aí o que você está achando de Homestuck, se você está vendo pela primeira vez, ou se você já está lendo há um tempo, e daí você me viu lendo e viu nisso uma boa oportunidade para reler. Enfim, é muito maluco, é muito maluco mesmo. Um, eu não sei se... Obrigada, gente, obrigada. Bom descanso para vocês também, boa noite para vocês também. Mas antes disso, é... eu não sei se vai ter live na semana que vem, né? Não sei se eu vou estar muito ocupada ou tal. A princípio vai sim. Mas vamos ver, né? Caso eu não consiga fazer live semana que vem... Fala, Nikawa. Caso eu não consiga fazer live semana que vem... Já deixo aqui de aviso, tipo... Feliz Ano Novo. <risos> ah, sim. E uma coisa que vem antes do Ano Novo, né? Em todo caso, Feliz Natal já adiantado pra vocês. Espero que vocês tenham um, um bom feriado aí. É, e uma boa passagem de ano, caso a gente não se veja semana que vem. Boas festas pra vocês, quem não comemora Natal, mas comemora outras festas. É, espero que vocês fiquem bem, pessoal. É, que dê tudo certo. <risos> Beijão pra vocês e até a próxima, então. Fui!